If you're in the market for a new outdoor television, now's the time to be looking. Samsung has just announced their new Samsung Terrace line of televisions. They come in three sizes, 55, 65, and 75 inch, and the prices are not for the faint of heart. In Canada, they start around $5,000. That's for the 55 inch, 65 inch is 7,000 and it gets right up to $9,000 for the 75 inch TV version. But the specs are outstanding. It's uh, an IP55 weather rating on this, so it's gonna protect from heat, humidity and dust. So if you get splashes on this uh, or a bit of rain, it will uh, typically be okay. And the temperature range that it can operate in as well is uh, pretty diverse. It can go right down to minus 30 all the way up to 50 degrees Celsius. The technology in the panel itself is what you'd find in a lot of the TVs in home theater rooms. It's a 4K QLED TV. It's got uh, HDR Plus built in. The brightness is great for outdoors as well. It's 2000 nit brightness and it's got an anti-reflective coating or technology on the screen. So whether you have this out in bright sunlight or in the shade, you're going to get a full bright picture. As far as the refresh rate, it's 120 hertz, so great for watching everything from movies to the latest sports. And the connectivity is something I think is important uh, as well. It does have the uh, requisite HDMI ports into it, but it also has a built-in HD Base-T receiver. Not everyone has heard of this, but this is essentially a technology using uh, Ethernet cable, Cat5e and above, that allows you to have just one cable going into the TV that not only supplies uncompressed high definition video, but also uh, about 100 watts of power if necessary as well. So this is great for mounting outdoors. You don't have to have all these cables everywhere. You just have to have the one cable, which is uh, very, very handy. If you are looking for the latest in connectivity, as well as far as things like voice assistants, it uh, has built-in Bixby support, the Samsung voice assistant, also Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. And it's using the Tizen uh, operating system, that's Samsung's uh, operating system, to power the smart TV aspect. So you will be able to get all your favorite streaming channels, whether that's Netflix, things like Hulu, or even the, uh, the Disney Channel, Amazon Prime as well. And they keep updating them uh, as they go along. It does have Wi-Fi built in, so you can actually stream uh, any of the content wireless, wirelessly uh, right to the, uh, the television. It's got adaptive picture control as well, so it actually adapts to the different brightnesses happening during the day. Of course, uh, sunlight comes and goes, so it knows when that's happening and adjusts the brightness and the picture quality to make sure that it has the best picture for whatever type of show and uh, whatever time of day you're uh, watching uh, as well. Again, super expensive, $5,000 for the uh, 55 inch. Some people are gonna say, hey, I can get a projector and an outdoor screen and I can get that, uh, that home theater experience uh, outdoors in my backyard or patio for a lot cheaper? Well, the short answer is yes, you can, but that's only gonna work at certain times during the day, or should I say night. For projectors, of course, in an outdoor setting, you're gonna have to uh, have uh, uh, you know, darkness. So again, if you are a, uh, a restaurant or a business that has an outdoor area that you need to have a television, Definitely something to have a look at. They've also announced the Samsung Terra soundbar to enhance the overall sound and uh, music capability of the TV. I'm excited to uh, check this out and uh, see how well it does uh, uh, in uh, an outdoor patio.